All right, guys. So this here video is just gonna demonstrate how certain ad blockers slow down the Safari browser significantly. So if you just saw right there, when you select in the text input field, it takes a long time to actually respond. Uh, even the pages load slightly slower than without certain ad blockers. Now this is not for all the ad blockers. This is only for um, this specific one that I tested out but it is probably going to be affecting other ones as well and the only way that you're going to notice is by trying it out yourself but it's something that started becoming very irritating when you're using it with an ad blocker where the pages should be loading faster and blocking a lot of these ads but in the end it actually causes a huge delay in just regular tasks so you can see right here selecting an item how long it actually takes to load and even scrolling the items itself they're not all loading as instantaneous as without the ad blocker or with a different version so we're just going to go in here and we're actually going to remove it and you can see which version of ad block this is now i don't think this is anything to do with the sierra operating system i think this is just the way that particular ad block runs but Right there, it's much faster just selecting the text. Even the page loading slightly faster, even though it has to load the ads. And when you click on it, you get that fast responsiveness that you want. So you can actually type in something in the text input field. And you can see just scrolling. The biggest things where it started becoming irritating is when you're, I was trying to type in in a text input field and it would just not respond no matter how hard you tried there was a delay to it and it was just a huge lag. You can see right there how, how more responsive it is without it enabled. So let's turn it back on. I'll have to refresh the site. Uh, but refreshing it, you saw how long it just takes there. Now I already clicked on it. And you can see that it's a delay before it even lets you do anything with the text. And then after that, once you start typing in the text, there's a delay in the input. Now I did go and research and I was able to find other uh, ad blockers. Um, and if you just go to the Safari extensions, the one that I found, one that was recommended, um, it begins with a K. Um, on top of my head right now, I can't really I'll think of the full name. But this is the ad block version. This one did not work for me as well. Just like I said, I used it for um, a few weeks. And that's when I noticed the lag and the delay. And it was just becoming irritating that I decided to figure out what was going on because Chrome was working fine but Safari is the lag where it was lagging and it was because the extension was enabled in Safari. Now they do have different versions of the ad blocks and the one that I found out after this that actually works and keeps um, the performance to the normal standard uh, is Cubblock. That one itself hasn't given me any issues where it's lagging and not responding when using uh, Safari. Now if you use Chrome you can use your own extensions in there but if again if you're trying to block the ads Cubblock is the one that it was working right now. You can also research and find other ones. It's just that ad block at the moment is causing some delays. Hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for more.